Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio Hello and welcome. I'm Enrique from Franken Studio. Today I want to show you how to use our latest Procreate brush pack, The Basement. The Basement is a set of crunchy and rough brushes that borrows inspiration from homemade printing approaches. Create charmingly chaotic artwork with jagged edges, bleeding colors and crisp finishes. Make full use of limited color palettes adding depth and variation with stunning monochrome textures. The basement is intuitive and easy to pick up thanks to its organization system. All groups of brushes are labeled for quicker access. Importing brushes into Procreate is quite simple. If you are using Dropbox, look for the file ftbasement.brushset. Then select Save to Device from the three dot menu at the top right. Next, swipe left to find the Procreate icon and tap it. Wait until the importing has finished. And that will be it. Creating a separate layer for each color is a great way to organize your document. In addition, you can set these layers to multiply mode to simulate layer press films. Name your layers accordingly to avoid painting on the wrong layer. We recommend you keep a limited color palette to layer them up more easily. Blocker brushes come in handy to define your main shapes. These brushes add some grainy, subtle texture to them. Basement brushes textures are seamless, so you can paint over your strokes while keeping an even surface. Defining the borders first is a good idea, then you can fill in the rest of your shape. As you can notice, all brushes have rough borders to add extra crispiness to your line work and shapes. You should not be worried about painting perfect strokes. An uneven finish will add a unique character to your final artwork. Alternatively, you can combine different block brushes to fill the same area to produce more irregular surface and add extra variation. We recommend you start working with two colors only and see how they multiply each other. It's fun to see how many combinations you can produce by overlapping two colors in multiply mode. Here, I'm using a brush from the Grunge Fields category. These brushes have more texture than blocker ones and can create more inconsistent fills. You might notice how a red layer is already bleeding over the blue one. You can use this effect subtly or go all the way to make new colors like this. Painting on my red layer will result in a dark shade of violet. You can experiment with different color combinations and get some exciting results. Also, the type of texture you use will define how these tones will blend together. Thicker textures will darken your resulting colors more than lighter ones. Using the basement brushes in erase mode will also help you create more thrilling blends. We'll get to that later. Remember, you can use the preset brush sizes to tackle all details. Once you have applied your top color, you can see how erasing a bit of the underlying layer will affect the top one. I love adding details with the eraser. It helps you build your negative space more efficiently. By combining brushes from the textures group, you can slowly add volume and a particular type of half-toning or a stippling effect. 
Since this brushes are 100% opaque, these textures are directly associated with the visual density of your colors. I will hide my sketch layer for a second, so we can have a clearer picture of what we have done so far. Our monster is already looking as if it was screen printed or block printed manually. Let's flesh it out more using some of our liner brushes. You have a couple of mono liners and pressure sensitive liners at your disposal. Liners are essential to add depth and final details. I hide my sketch every once in a while to see the details more clearly. If you hide your color layers separately, you can see how their flattened versions behave. I usually clean up my isolated layers to spot mistakes and play around with negative space. I love how color plates look this way. It makes you feel like you are screen printing your layers right into Procreate. Density brushes come in handy when creating halftone gradients. These brushes will get thicker as you press harder with your Apple Pencil. These halftone gradients are perfect for building softer shadings and adding weight to a specific areas. In this example, I'll make my character's cheek look puffier with the help of the FD Basement GR2 brush. Density brushes need more pressure than regular pressure brushes. We have designed them this way to make them more challenging to control. This way you'll get unpredictable and more natural results. I continue switching density brushes to add depth to different parts of my character. Distress brushes are great for adding small bits of printing errors and uneven textures in tiny doses. Some are barely visible, but will make a huge difference in making your shapes look ragged and damaged. We've crafted distress brushes to add the ultimate human touches to your fills, textures and line work. There are no rules on how to use them or their specific use. Just combine them randomly in paint or erase mode to subtly mangling your paintings. Liners are also great distress tools. Use them to contrast light and dark strokes with your line work. Mixing brushes from all categories will give you never-ending source of jagged monochrome texture goodness. I recommend you explore all brushes in no particular order or purpose. The very nature of the basement for Procreate is to create charmingly chaotic artworks. Just have fun and let some happy accidents happen. The more open-minded you approach this pack, the more artistic and natural results you'll get. I can get enough of checking my isolated color layers. They're super fun to look at. Now I'll show you a cool trick on how to create grungy gradients. Create a solid shape using a blocking brush. Then select a density brush in eraser mode. Delete half of your solid form applying different pressure with your Apple Pencil. This technique will create a fantastic stippling effect. I find myself using it for everything. Adding random strokes using density brushes will create a handmade effect all over your artwork. I combine these brushes and the texture ones to dirt up different parts of my image. Remember, the stress brushes are meant to behave erratically and sparsely. Sometimes they'll paint, sometimes they won't. The fun part about these brushes is their misbehavior. They work wonders for, well, distressing everything up. And 
If I haven't said this enough, try them as erasers. You'll get addicted to them. And this is how our final color layers look. Again, we can create tons of depth using just two colors and our basement brush pack. Finally, let's put the icing on the cake with some yummy textures included in your pack. Go to the top menu, select the range icon and tap insert a file. Next, navigate to the folder you saved your basement files and choose one of the paper textures. Adjust its dimensions to fit your canvas and set its blending to multiply. Now our artwork seems even more handmade. Repeat the same process and now select the black texture, which contains a grainy overlay. After adjusting its size, set its blending mode to screen. These are the main functions of the basement for Procreate. As you can see, it's an enjoyable pack aimed at creating quick and fun illustrations. If you are an editorial or children's book illustrator, this kit will become your go-to for creating. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Check the information to buy this pack in the description. Just remember, we are not selling any of our products on Etsy. If you find any of them there, they are being sold illegally. So please, please don't buy from these scammers. Thank you. See you next time. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two.